Hi, I'm Justin, DevOps Engineer, and I give Feedly 4 out of 5 stars. For more reviews like these, please click the link below. Before using Feedly, we had tiny, tiny RSS set up at a local instance. It was good for a very basic RSS workflow. We got the feeds, we could apply very basic filters to them, but ultimately when you get to a certain threshold of RSS feeds, you need something a little bit more sophisticated to sift and sort through things. And tiny, tiny RSS was good for an open source product, but ultimately it wasn't really great for a business setting where we wanted people to be able to have those filters and be able to apply them on a team-wide basis, not have everyone have to go in and do all the same filters by hand. We chose Feedly because we wanted something that had advanced capabilities to sift and sort through knowledge. And Feedly is really the only game in town for that. It does it pretty well for the most part. They have an assistant called Leo that allows you to teach it what to do in very human readable terms. So for instance, if you want to filter out everything related to big data from your AWS feed, you just say, I don't want anything related to big data, and Feedly knows which AWS products are related with big data. Whereas before, in tiny, tiny RSS or really anything else out there, I would have to manually filter out the term big data, this big data product, that big data product. Feedly is smart enough to do that. So that was the first big win for us. The other one was being able to apply them in a team setting. I've always said for a long time now, why don't more of these RSS feed readers, especially ones that emphasize collaboration, allow you to have a collective set of team-based RSS feeds, i.e. you subscribe once and everyone gets it. For whatever reason, Feedly was, again, really the only game in, time, in, in town for this. So we could have different feeds for information security, software updates, hardware updates, and you just subscribe to that on a team-wide basis and everybody gets it. It's really helped our workload considerably. Onboarding with Feedly is fairly straightforward, especially if you're coming from a different product. In RSS feed readers, most of them will export to a .opml file. That contains your RSS feeds, any categorization you might have for them in a vendor-neutral format. So in my case, I took my existing feeds, I imported them in, there wasn't really much of a problem there. All I really needed to do at that point was set up a couple of <coughs> team-based feeds and separate them from your team-based feeds with your personal feeds, which are not shared with the team. If you're thinking about using Feedly for your team, I would definitely consider the price. Yes, it's a high price, and unfortunately that's because, like I said, when it comes to stuff like machine learning, team-based collaboration the right way, Feedly is kind of the only game in town. But for what it's worth, it is expensive, but you do get your money's worth. And I've already seen it pay dividends for us significantly. When I come in in the morning now, I don't have to sort through hundreds of different RSS feeds to try and hopefully find the one that I really need to see for the day. You can just come in, take a look at what's already been prioritized for you automatically. So before you gap, gape too much at the price point, I would say go through the trial, see how it really improves your workflow, and I think you'll probably agree the it's a net positive for you.